You know, it's really, it really is a strange thing because I feel so healthy and I feel so alive yeah. for us to be, and, and you're, you're watching this a month later after, the, after uh, uh, we went through that. I actually was just back in church uh, yeah. for the first time a few days ago. And, and to think about, the, had I said no to the will of God, my people destroyed because of their lack of yeah. wisdom, but then God says, be not hearers of the word only, but doers. doers. And I got to be honest with you. Many years ago, it was so unpopular to stand with Israel, to, to, to say that the land belongs to the Jewish right. people and to teach the Jewishness of the Bible yeah. that we, we got a family situation together because we were going broke. We were going bankrupt because we were doing what was right. Yeah. And it was Anna who said, dad, this is why God brought us to the Dallas area, to mm. stand with Israel, to yes. teach the Jewish roots of the Bible. Yeah. Now, you know, we can look and see our church being blessed, yeah. our ministry being blessed, but I'm alive today Amen. because Amen. I didn't do what was popular. I did what God, Amen. or we did what God wanted us to do. Yeah. And, and what a better time to be an example of this than during the time of Jubilee. Guys, yeah. this, is, this is the time for your breakthrough. That I, I'll tell you, my faith that Satan cannot destroy Amen. us is stronger Amen. than ever. Yeah. I, I, every yeah. I, it wasn't one day that I had a blood clot. Yeah. It was for a month and a half. The, the doctor said, you, you probably have these for seven months. And God kept me alive because... It's jubilee yeah. because of the promise of God, because of your prayers, yeah. but because the devil, when we are blessing Israel, yes. the devil cannot attack yes. us. We are in the hands of God yeah. and we saw his finger keeping me alive. <laughs> yes, we did. We saw it. We saw it. And you know, Larry, it reminds me of a, of a saying that says, today's decisions determine tomorrow's destiny. You know, and it's so simplistic, but honestly, the things that we do in obedience to God, we can't even imagine the far reaching no. effects no. of how that affects our lives, our own lives, our family, children, and the world ultimately. But you know, I do, I do want us to teach on this and I really think that you need to go in and teach what did Jesus have to say about Passover and why was he in Jerusalem on Passover? E exactly, you know, and that's, that's a great point. Where do we get the teaching of the first fruit? First fruits happens three times a year. It happens Passover, yeah. it happens Pentecost, mm -hmm. uh, Shavuot, it happens Feast of Tabernacles, Sukkot. Where do we get these teachings? It comes out of Malachi. Malachi, the, the Jewish people have just come out of, out of bondage. They've come out of Babylon. They've come out of slavery. They meet and they begin to pray, God, tell us what to do that the enemy can't defeat us anymore. And God says, return unto me and I'll return unto you. We all know that, but right before it, he talks about the offerings of old. So they said, how do we return? So Jehovah Jireh, Jehovah Sitkanu, Jehovah Mekadesh can be back in our lives. And God picks a funny thing he picks finances because where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. Mm -hmm. And the reason why they became captives is they quit putting God on the throne. They started being blessed. And you know, you think about America. Yes, we got to put exactly. God back on the throne, yes, the God of Abraham, yes. Isaac, and Amen. Jacob back on the throne. Amen. Not the God of Allah, not the yeah. God of, of Krishna, the God of Abraham, Amen. Isaac, and Jacob, yes. whom Jesus Christ paid the price so we could be drafted in. And so the, Malachi speaks 500 years before Jesus or about that. And God says, return unto me and I'll return unto you. They said, how do we return? He says, in your tithes, because where your treasure is, there your heart be also and in your offerings, and I'll open the window of heaven. In Hebrew, the offering is three times a year, you come before the Lord and you don't come empty handed. Those three times a year are Passover tis, yes. Pentecost and Feast of Tabernacles. Yeah. Three times a year, you come with a special offering yeah. saying, God, you are my God. And, and, and maybe next week we'll get into this. Yeah. Every one of those 30, 
60, 100 fold, yes. every mm. one of those releases a different blessing. Yeah. Passover releases a different blessing. Shavuot or Pentecost releases a different yes. blessing. Feast of Tabernacles. That's why Jesus said 30, 60, 100 fold. The 100 fold literally means unlimited. Amen. Now that's yeah. true every year. Yes. But this one, listen to mm. me, this one is exploding with anointing because it's the end of the four yeah. blood moons, number eight, yes. the supernatural, it's Shemitah, when God makes financial Amen. changes, but it's also Jubilee. Mm. There has never been a more important time than right now, the yeah. year of Jubilee, to stand with Israel to get, make sure the Jewish mm. people of Israel get their land back. Yes. We have got to quit listening to the teaching of replacement theology. Mm. We've got to quit listening to the teaching of, well, we're the new Israel, we're the new Jerusalem. No, yeah. we're not. Paul said, we are grafted into them. Yeah. I, God says to Abraham, I, concerning Israel, I will bless those who bless you. And so that's why from, from the prophecy of Amos, God says, when you plant a vineyard or you wow. plant a grove. Yeah. So God opened the door for us. When you send in your first fruit, it will release mm. blessing into your, your life, life as never mm. before. It will never be here again. You cannot, you will never get to the fullness of what God has for you if you miss this, blood, yeah. if this first fruit offering. Yeah. Because once that window is gone, mm. It's gone to, for a whole year, but wow. the window during Jubilee found the blood moons, following Schmitta will never be here again. Amen. Listen to Our me. Lord. Have eyes to see and ears to hear what yeah. God is doing. And so that's why we're going to take yeah a first fruit offering in representing you and your family and your business and your finances. And we are going to fulfill a mission yes. to bring life just like yes. God did. I am alive today because I stand with Israel. I have no, no doubt. It doesn't just say all things work to good of those who love God. Yeah. It's all things work together for those who love right. God and are, are called, called according yeah. to his purpose Amen. to fulfill his purpose. There's never been more mm. of an important time for you personally mm. to sow a first fruit. Yeah. There's never been a more important time for us right. to be standing with the nation of yes. Israel. There is literally a line being drawn in the sand mm. in the world, but in the church. There are people who are saying the Jews need to leave Israel. Amos says, when we plant a vineyard or an orchard in that land, two things will happen. It will prepare the coming of the Messiah mm. and it will seal yeah. the people of Israel Amen. in their land yeah. forever. Ever. I wish I had more time. I want you to join us next week because listen mm. to me. It's the year of Jubilee. Yeah. There has never been a more important yeah. time Amen. for God to open the window of heaven. That window is only open for a brief time and then it's gone. And there's never been a more important time mm. with all the craziness that's going on in our country yeah. with elections for you and I to choose the side yes. of God and be mm. a blessing to Israel. Amen. We got to go. Tiz and I love you mm. and we love you, Israel. And we're praying for you. Do it now. This is the greatest breakthrough you will ever Amen. see. We'll see you next week.